and I'm Trader, and this is the last call of the old day. So we're going to take a look here at crude oil and natural gas. But first of all, we're going to take a look here at gold and silver. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted for crude oil and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation by us on stock market ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have gold daily chart and silver daily chart. Now, today was just an absolutely rocking day. I hope everyone was in there on, on the banks and on the technology because, man, today was just, this could make your whole day, your right here, just in one day. Now, we got to see if this rally is actually going to last. But when you walk, go into elections, what I use to always do is, is for a way to track things is I always look at gold and I look at silver, but I look at these more like a fear factor kind of a situation here, okay? So now that the election is all done, Okay, now we can see what actually gold is actually doing. I can see the beautiful rally that it did had holding the eight and the 21 day all the way up. Now look what happened here today. Okay, so this fell right off the old map uh, here. Look at that big ass red candle you took out how many days. Now, again, well, let's look at the downside first. So really what you're looking at there is going to be that 50 day at 26.57.30. That's going to be very, very critical. Okay, so if that's lost here, we're going to come right down to this price channel here at that 26.1880. Okay, so we just bring this this candle right across here, and that's what you got your 26.1880. Now again, there are a lot of uh, levels here that we can go. You know, what I'm saying uh, uh, there you are. You got uh, 26.17. Uh, we can bring this price channel all the way across here. You're looking down at 25.75, and we can just keep right on going here. But let's just see if it holds that 50 SMA here. Now you really have to get back above this 21 day okay and then actually the eight day so that 21 day is sitting at uh, a 27 22 90 and then that eight day at 27 52 now you can see where that eight day is rolling over but we got to see if it all going to hold rsi here you can see here we had this negative divergence see where we have a high here okay and then we have an even higher high and then we have a lower high see this is always like a first tell you look at that negative divergence and what happened boom right off the old cliff now rsi uh, green below your red here. This is really nothing great here to watch now. So if you are in gold, I hope you sold it. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't really trade gold that much, but if I do, I use the GLD. That really works good. And for silver, SLB, that works really good. But right now, just watch that 50-day, 26.57. If that's lost, you're going to come down to this 26 uh, at 18.80 there very, very quickly. And maybe even that Ohondo down here at 25.45. Okay, now let's take a look at silver. Same thing. Okay, we had like a double top situation uh, uh, right, right going on right here. And then look at it here. We lost that eight day. Okay, we lost that 20 day. And look at this big ass red candle. Now you're below the X, the 50 day, which is not good. So on the upside here, you want to watch that 3156. That's going to be very, very key. And then we can do if we come up here to your 21 day at 3284. Uh, and then we have your 3306, which is your eight day. But this is not looking very good. So the next target uh, we're looking for down here is going to be that 3046 which is your 100 day and then we have your price channel sitting right there at 3043 level okay so we got to see if that's all going to hold but when you look at this chart here this looks awful uh, just awful nasty however right now we do still have that series of lower or higher lows going on here but this candle here today kind of much tells everything about it but i say i use this more like a fear factor gauge Kind of a situation that versus just uh, trading gold and everything. Now, you know, a lot of the gold traders here, they can make a lot of good money up here. But whatever the results were here, usually going into election, you always get that. And then when she comes rolling down, she comes rolling down extremely hard. Okay, let's take a look here now at uh, crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil daily chart, natural gas daily chart here. Now you can see here uh, what we got going on here. Now again, this is here was that hurricane in that war premium right here, hurricane and war premium, the same thing going on here. Now again, what we have is we have an indecision candle here, uh, but we gotta see how this is all gonna shake out. So today we had that high of 72.63, but if you look to the yesterday, we had 72.67. Now is this gonna be a double top situation? So you wanna watch those futures at 6 p.m. tonight. Okay, that high, that's 72.63, uh, and that low of uh, uh, 69.74 uh, level. Now there's a couple key levels here that we definitely wanna watch, and that's gonna be that 21 day at 71.03 and then that 50 day at 78.89. Now the key really to all of this here is holding this eight day on a closing basis. Now we went lower today, but you notice that we closed above it. That's going to be very, very key. Now that's 69.99 is lost here. We're going to come right to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 69.32 and the bottom here. You're looking at 68.30 and then we can come down to the bottom. 67.28 and then we have your 66.72, which is your big retest. Now if that's lost, 
bring that price channel right across. And we have 66.33, and then we have 65.63, uh, and then 65.27. Now, a couple things here about this war premium. Now, there hasn't been any retaliation here from Iran into Israel, but I think if there is a, re a retaliation, uh, I think Israel will come there and just drop the hammer on them. And I say it'll be like a one and done. So if the oil does spike up, I think it'd be more like a uh, of a selling opportunity slash shorting opportunity there in crude oil. Now, also remember, uh, when Trump comes in there here uh, in, in 2025, remember, he was very, very uh, hard on the oil as far as um, having higher prices. So just remember, you can go back into the charts uh, just look at weekly, just take your, your weekly charts, go back, and you can see where, where when oil would start escalating, he would post on, because I remember trading oil there, and all of a sudden it would just drop like three bucks. Well, oil is getting too high. I contacted you know, Saudi Arabia, and this is going to be coming. See, that's the thing, because he knows that's a tax on people, because what that is, that raises the gasoline price, and they can't go, like say, I can't go into a convenience store, and I can't buy a few other things, because i got to spend it all on gas, okay? So that's what you have to understand here, so where that's, you know, you have to trade what's ever in the White House. you got to figure out how do you make money off of this here. Another thing about it, too, is, is sanction. When he puts sanctions on, he enforces a sanction. There's no sanction. All the sanctions, what he put on, the majority is where are still in place, but they're never enforced. So that's why I say Iran, they built up like $200 billion. And, well, what did they do? They went and they bought weapons and they struck Israel. So, so that stuff will happen. Unhappen. The same way with these wars. you got to remember when he was in office, you know what I'm saying? There were no wars, Okay. That's the thing you have to understand. But all this stuff that's going on now, you know, you can't go into straits from woods. You got to go 1,100 miles around there. See, this is all going to change. So you got to take this all into effect if you're a trader, because the bottom line to a trader is how do I make money off of every situation? That's what you have to understand. That's what a trader does. Okay. So, Bottom line is this here. You got to watch that 21 day. It can be very, very critical. That 50 day. And then we have that uh, eight simple moving average. That's going to be on the downside. Now, somehow if we can get above yesterday's high, that 72.67 level, which if you look at the bottom of this candle, see 72.69. So you know where your, your resistance is. Okay. Then we can just move it right on up here. You can go to that 73.26. We can come up here 74.45. And then we have 74.77 level here at the 100 day. Then we have your 76.24. And then we have your uh, 77.12 level. And then we have your big retest up there at that uh, 78.46. But if there is some kind of a, you know, a war situation going on, I think you're going to have a spike. But I think it's going to come down really, really hard. Uh, I say after that here, I say, remember, we have a, a whole different administration, a whole different mindset going on. There. So, you know, I'm not pushing anything one way or the other. I'm just pushing to you as a trader. Just pay attention here. Those big run ups like that, like you had up to one hundred dollars. That's not going to go very well here in 2025. So just always remember that unless something really, really does escalate uh, very, very hard. Now, natural gas is going to be the same way because they're going to put this all into energy kind of a situation. So these big spikes that natural gas went all the way last year, all the way up to like $10. I don't think that's really going to be possible anymore going into 25 because they're going to be watching all this stuff now. And it's going to be very, very calculated on what is going to be going on here. So remember, this is just a trading opportunity here. Now, it's not saying I'm going to buy this this and hold kind of a situation. So just remember that different administrations, different ideas, okay, different ways to trade the old market here. Okay, so let's look at the downside. Really, you got key levels right here, okay? So first of all, it's going to be that eight day, that's 2.695. That's going to be very, very key. If that's lost here, we come to yesterday's low, okay, 2.65, and we'll go to the bottom of this candle, 2.63 level, and then we can come over here to the top of this candle, 2.57, and then we're going to come right here to this 2.55 level here, this 21 day. Right below this, we have that nice 8 SMA sitting at 2.51, which is basically that gap fell very, very nicely, okay? Now, upside, um, I think, you know, if we get over yesterday's high, okay, that's going to be the key. 2.81. Then I think we hit that 2.83 and then go and retest this 2.91. Then we have to see what the, what the reaction is. If it goes higher, well, then we have up here, we know where it's going to go 2.949 and 8. And then we have a, a 2.98. Then we have your 3. And then we have your 3.01. Again, we have to see what the reaction is if it does go up there. But we just have sideways action. But remember, watch that EIA report. It's been a market mover for natural gas here on 1030 on Thursday morning here. So just watch that, okay? So bottom line here, watch this when the, these futures open here tonight at 6 p.m. Just watch today's high at 2.79 and watch that low 2.66. That's what we're gonna be trading against, okay? So just like crude oil, you're trading against that high, that low today's candle. We gotta see how that all gonna shake out. Now, natural gas here, seasonality's in play here, 
But again, and not for really that much longer because, uh, you know, you got seasonality. Uh, you're going to be dumping this out here in the second week of November here. So we really didn't have that run up like we normally do. But again, here with this election, see that kind of throws a wrench into whole nine yards here. 55 is not really telling us much here. There's no divergences or anything on that. Your MACD is looking good. Your green over your red. So I would say this is what I'm doing is just trading this market. I scalped the UNG today. It was a really good trade. I didn't do anything on the short side. So I'm just saying I'm just trading this market to see where it goes. If I start losing that eight day on a closing basis, then I know you're going to go to that 21 day possible 50 day. If I can crack above this key uh, to uh, yesterday's high, then I know it can go to that 2.91 retest. And then I had to see what is the reaction when it gets there. Does it go higher or does it bounce off that and come down lower? Okay, that's what I got for you, and I'll be back here tomorrow morning uh, before 7 o'clock. Remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want. Mm -hmm.